Hello, good afternoon on this rainy and a little chilly Wednesday. Uh, I am coming at you with our next uh, spark video. Um, today is Ash Wednesday. It is the beginning of the season um, in our church calendar called Lent. It is the time that we uh, remember uh, Christ's sacrifice on the cross and we prepare for that and it is 40 days of preparation between now and Easter and uh, this is the time when um, people sometimes in the church the tradition is to um, practice uh, giving something up uh, as a means of self-control uh, and a means of of kind of mourning and like not being you know a, <clears throat> a whole whether it's food, whether it's um, whether it's an activity, whether it's something uh, like TV or video games, or you know, like I said, it's some type of food like chocolate or dessert, or maybe you're not gonna um, have ice cream if you like ice cream a lot. Something that is a challenge, something that is um, worth uh, self-control and something that allows you to to think about God when you need those things. Um, for me, I am going through my closet and every day I will be giving something um, to the needy. Uh, something that I do not wear, something that might not fit, something that um, has been in there a long time and just to look at say look at how much I've been blessed and how much stuff that I have and that I don't even use um, and to kind of just take this time the next 40 days and uh, have a little retrospect on the things that I own um, and that is my challenge to me this uh, Lenten season uh, but we are talking about love today and ultimately the Lent season is about God's love for us and Christ modeled uh, love so that we not only can love God, but we can in turn love one another. And uh, this book of Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, is considered the love chapter and it is, um, it is uh, written by Paul. And it's an example, not only of how we need to treat each other and how we need to live, but how Christ lived and Christ set the model of what love is. And throughout uh, Jesus's life, there are examples of everything that I'm about to read um, of him displaying it to humanity. Uh, so let's read out of 1 Corinthians 13. It says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. And with, uh, with those things, I want to encourage you to strive towards those things. Uh, some, of the, some of the attributes of love that stuck out to me um, was uh, it is not self-seeking. And it, it keeps no record of wrong and it is not easily angered. Those things are some challenging things for us. Um, but then when we look at Christ's life, we can see those things modeled. Uh, we can see them in examples uh, where he was not easily angered, where he was not keeping records of wrong. He literally bent on the floor and wrote and, and asked the people that were ready to stone a lady uh, if they had no sins, you know, if whoever had no sin to cast the first stone. He wasn't keeping records of wrong. He wasn't getting angry with the crowd. He wasn't doing these things that we so enticingly get uh, entangled with. Um, so I want you to look at Jesus's life in these next 40 days. Um, we're going to see some examples. I mean, we're going to go through some examples of this love 
uh, and kind of unpack that a little bit. And we're going to start with love is patient. And we're going to show some things in the next couple of weeks of where love is patient as we um, experience Lent together. Um, and as we experience um, our 40 days to Easter. So I hope that everyone has a wonderful Wednesday. I am out here uh, at the Equestrian Park um, on Enterprise and uh, Landmark. If you've never been out here, it's really cool. It's got a really beautiful lake, as you could tell. Uh, there's a nice boardwalk. There are many, many paths. Uh, it's a walking, it's mainly a walking park. And uh, because of the weather today, uh, it was just easier because it's closer to my house that I could just zip up here and uh, when the rains kind of got away um, to come up here and be be a part of this weather and, and do these videos for you. So I hope everyone has a great week and God bless. Bye.